Hello guys, this is Modest Major here, bringing you some commentary over some Ricochet gameplay. The score in the background is 29-1. and 1. It's on the map, Solace. Now, this is using the old power weapon spawn, such as the two energy swords, the Insin Cannon, and the Binary Rifle. Let me, go, uh, let me know if that annoys you guys. Um, if you just want to see new power weapon spawns gameplays. I'll try and mix and match the gameplays that I do have with old ones and new ones. Um, I feel like for the most part on maps like Haven and Adrift, it was even harder to get gameplays using the old settings. So I don't think it's giving me an unfair advantage. Maybe on Solace because these weapons are pretty darn ridiculous. But uh, Adrift and Haven just has the scat shot and the sticky debt. So I don't think it's too big a deal. So this incineration cannon, now watch this shot here. I'm going to shoot at that sword guy and he runs straight through the cluster and it doesn't do any damage to him whatsoever. Um, me and Solomon always have this debate about what's better, the fuel rod and the incin, and I've always said the fuel rod cannon. And I feel like one of my main issues with the incineration cannon is sometimes shots don't register for me. And with a gun that has so little ammo and the fact that it has such a long reload, I kind of count on my shots hitting, especially if my accuracy was good enough. And when it misses, it puts me in a very dangerous, vulnerable situation because I don't use dexterity, so I have to count on this reload, you know, working when it should. And when it doesn't work, I'm just kind of screwed. And maybe it just irritates me more because I go for gameplays and I kind of need to stay flawless and need to try and uh, get as few deaths as possible. I don't really know. I don't know what it's down to. I don't know whether it's my host connection being terrible, uh, my connection being terrible, or whether it's down to just the hit detection and the engine. I know that the scat shot has quite a few issues with hit detection, so maybe it's the same with just all Promethean weaponry in general. I'm not really sure, but either way, it's just something that I want to get fixed. So one of the biggest problems I have with the new Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is I feel like the hit detection and the lag in that game is just generally awful. And for me, as a player, accuracy is definitely my strong suit and it's something that I mainly rely on. My tactics is awful, so I kind of rely on my gunplay and my strafing and... If something like, you know, hit detection gets in my way, it just leads to a frustrating experience. And as a result, I don't actually pick up the... Well, I, I will always pick up the incident cannon, that's a lie. But the, if I had the choice, if I say have the ordinance of... Uh, incineration cannon, binary, uh, or fuel rod, I would always choose fuel rod. Or maybe binary rifle, even above incin. That's just me. And uh, maybe you guys are thinking I'm insane right now and just thinking, But the incineration cannon is a killing machine! You're an idiot, Major! Shut up! I know that's what Solomon's saying in his brain, because he's an idiot, but there we go. I'm just kidding. Whatever. <laughs> Um, so anyway, this is Solace. This is Ricochet. They're considering putting Ricochet into the Pro V5 settings. I think they've already... I think it's pretty much a confirmed decision uh, at this point in time. And a lot of the pro players are getting pretty worked up about it. Uh, if you've been watching Gandhi's Forts recently, which I advise you do, because Gandhi's Forts are pretty awesome. He basically been getting competitive players on uh, recently, such as Neighbor, Formal, and... Um, lethal on and the the great thing about these interviews i feel like is that you know he doesn't just uh, my main problem with competitive players a lot of the time is they're not very well spoken they're not very articulate and they're too prone to uh, emotional decisions i suppose i feel like a lot of pro players are guided by their emotions and guided by their frustrations rather than thinking logically or rationally about decisions whereas the people that gandhi have been getting on it they've been really good choices they've been very articulate very well spoken very coherent and as a result it's it's much more interesting to hear what they say because obviously they have a lot of valuable insights playing from uh, the beginning of halo reach some even the beginning of halo 3 some even the beginning of halo 2 so they have a lot of experience in this field and it can be interesting to hear their opinions and the majority opinion on the matter of ricochet has been they don't like it you know no one wants to see Ricochet in the competitive settings, as far as I can see right now. Uh, you know, Neighbor has huge problems with it. He thinks it will be awful as a spectator sport, and he thinks it's far too casual. And Lethal has put his foot down and said, if Ricochet gets put into the pro settings, I won't play. I will veto that stuff, uh, unless my team gets really annoyed with me about it. And that's kind of interesting to me because I didn't uh, I didn't think there would be that much backlash to it. I know that Ninja has been playing it on his streams quite a bit and he seems to really, really enjoy it. 
Um, maybe it's just a casual player's game type. It's kind of hard for me to say because I don't have the most well thought out, uh, you know. I don't necessarily think of stuff from a pro player's perspective. I think of stuff from, uh, is it fun from my perspective? And is it fun to get gameplays on? And for me, it's the funnest game type out of any game type to get gameplays on. Maybe that's just because it's new and it's fresh. And it's something different from what I've been used to. But I still feel like even a couple of months down the line, I will still say this is amazing. As long as they don't screw with the power weapon spawns too much. As you can see, I just betrayed a teammate there with the binary. My binary rifling right now is absolutely embarrassing. So forgive me for that. I don't know what went wrong. I haven't used the weapon in quite some time. But there we go. So... Yeah, basically, like, I don't know. They were also saying, Gandhi was saying, I don't know how I'm going to be able to shoutcast this, you know. I don't know whether this is going to be good for shoutcasting because it might be a bit cringe. And that's one of the things that I thought this would be best for. I thought from a shoutcaster's perspective and from a spectator's perspective, this would be just entertaining because it's just basically like American football. You know, you know, you get all the cues on screen when something big's about to happen. You know, if someone's throwing a ball in and then it goes, goal, and everyone goes crazy. The crowd went wild. Just seems pretty straightforward to me. Maybe that's just my opinion. Uh, I understand that it might be a bit of a casual friendly playlist in terms of playing. But I don't know. From a spectator's uh, point of view, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Let me guys know what you think. Anyway, I've been Modest Major. Thanks for watching. Peace.